Now, a certain man was sick, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. So the sister sent word to him, saying, Lord, behold he whom your love is sick. This sickness is not to hand in death, but for the glory of God. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was sick, he then stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Let us go to Judea again. Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you, and why are you going there again? Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go, so that I may awaken him out of sleep. Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he was speaking of mutual sleep. Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Let us also go, so that we might die with him. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. Martha, therefore, when she heard that Jesus was coming, went to meet him, but Mary stayed at the house. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Your brother will rise again. I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies, and if everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. I have believed that you are the Christ, the Son of God, even he who comes into the world. When she had said this, she went away and called Mary, her sister, saying secretly, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she got up quickly and was coming to him. Now Jesus had not yet come into the village, but still in the place where Martha met him. Then the Jews, who were with her in the house, and consuming her, when they saw that Mary got up quickly and went out, they followed her, supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. Therefore, when Mary came where Jesus was, she saw him, and fell at his feet, saying, Lord, if you have been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and was troubled. Where have you laid him? Lord, come and see! Jesus wept. See how he loved him! Could not this man, who opened the eyes of the blind man, have kept this man also from dying? So Jesus, again being deeply moved within, came to the tomb, now it was a cave, and the stone was lying against him. Remove the stone. Lord, by this time there will be a stench, for you has been dead for days. Did I not say that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they removed the stone. Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the people standing around I said it, so that they may believe that you sent me. Lazarus, come forth! The man who had died came forth, bound hand and foot with wrappings, and his face was wrapped around the cloth. And bind him and let him go. Therefore, many of the Jews who came to Mary and saw what he had done believed in him. But some of them went to Pharisees and told them the things which Jesus had done. The two sisters run into Jesus when their brother Lazarus is sick. Jesus goes before us and knows more about what we need than we do. He wept for what his friends had go to go through to get to the miracle. There will always be suffering in our sin-laden world. But the hope of Jesus cannot be trumped by any temporary pain 
on earth. Overwhelming and seemingly unfair as life can and will be at times, we can trust our friends Jesus as Mary, Martha and Lazarus learned to do. Father, praise you for the opportunity to learn more about the friendships of Jesus through the pages of your word. May the lessons and love we read about here today penetrate our hearts and move us into action in our own friendships. May we seek to love and serve our friends as he did and learn to guard our hearts when necessary. In Jesus' name, Amen.